Hello, uh, the practitioner here again. I'm here to debunk, debunk your Matchbox video. Um, a couple of people in the comments, wisely, actually said that it was stop motion animation. Then somebody asked, well, how, if it, how could it be stop motion animation if there wasn't any twitch in your hands? Quite simple. You actually give yourself a good five seconds pause in, in either direction after you've uh, uh, positioned each set, step of the Matchbox. This way, you can actually, um, this way, you can actually, um, clear, uh, this way you can actually um, give yourself enough of a splice in between clips of, uh, of, stu of the matchbox moving to prevent people from actually noticing any twitch in your hands. Windows Movie Maker is very, very good at doing this sort of split clipping and, um, you know, and, and selecting and, spi and sp um, splicing of clips. I should know because that was in part how I did uh, my Doctor Who fan film pieces. I also did that for quite a few other fan film pro projects which are not up here on YouTube. Um, so anyway, yeah, I think you pretty well get the idea. Um, you know, seamless splicing, uh, digital editing. There's plenty of techniques out there which would actually make your uh, even there's uh, some digital editing formats which would actually um, make your hand uh, hand stay completely still and could do motion tracking uh, pertaining to the uh, matchbox doing the stop motion animation, which would prevent uh, it look from looking like your hands were moving, and um, you know, and uh, which which would make it look like your hands were staying still. And um, uh, and make it look like it was a legitimate telekinesis trick. Sorry, digital edit either way. Um, so between you and me, I don't believe it.